Hello friends, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. In today's lecture, we are starting with another question on DBMS topic and this question appeared in GATE 2015 paper. This question is based on transaction, the checkpointing mechanism, the undo and the redo list when we recover certain transactions after a crash. So let's start with the question and then see how to answer it. The question says, that consider a simple checkpointing protocol and the following set of operations in the log. The operations are start T4, write T4, Y23, start T1, commit T4, then write T1, comma Z, comma 5, comma 7. Then a checkpoint occurs. After the checkpoint, there are certain other operations like start T2, write T2, comma X, comma 1, comma 9. Then commit T2, start T3, write T3, Z, 7, 2. Then the question asks that if a crash happens now and the system tries to recover using both undo and redo operations, what are the contents of the undo list and the redo list? Okay, so corresponding to these operations, I have made a tab table and written all these operations in a tabular form. So there are four transactions given to you T1, T2, T3 and T4 and I have put these operations sequentially as they happen. So we are starting with start T4. Initially T4 is started first out of all the four transactions. Then the write operation of T4 happens. Then T1 gets started. Then after the write of T4, T1 is started. We commit T4, we commit T4 and then the write operation of T1 take place. After these five operations, a checkpoint occurs and after the checkpoint, there are certain more operations that happen. Transaction T2 starts, it writes the value of variable X, then it commits and after that, Transaction T3 starts and performs its write operation. And after all these operations are done, a crash happens. Now you have to tell which out of these operations will be put in the redo list, which would be put in the undo list. Okay, so first of all, you need to know that checkpointing is a mechanism in database transaction management that permanently stores the values or the changes that were made in the database items into the disk. Okay, so when a crash happens and we have to save certain actions or uh, trans transaction or operations that were performed into undo list and redo list, we have to classify them accordingly. So any operation that started or any transaction that started but did not perform a commit or an abort operation, that transaction and its operation will be put in the undo list. Why in the undo list? Because undo means that we have to revert back all the changes made by these transaction. Okay, so if a transaction started and performed half of its operations but did not complete, it neither aborted nor it committed. So it means that we are reverting back all such operations of this transaction and we will put these operations in the undo list. Okay, whereas all those operations or all those transactions that started and performed a commit or a abort, those transactions are put in the redo list. That means why redo? Because all such transactions, they completed to their end, to their entirety. And we have to again perform, do these operations again. That means redo these completed transactions when a crash happens so that we can restore the database to its correct form. Okay, so to classify which operations are in commit in undo list and in redo list, see which transaction out of these four committed and which did not. So starting with T1, it started it performed a write operation, then a checkpoint happened, but then there was neither a commit operation nor a abort operation, nor an abort operation. So it means that here there is an uncommitted write operation. Okay, 
so we would put it in the undo list again i am telling you any uh, transaction that whose start operation is found but no commit or abort is found we put it in undo list now it's checking for t2 for t2 it started it performed the right operation and it performed the commit okay and then the crash happened since we found a commit for this we will put this transaction and its operation in the redo list because it has committed after writing now for t3 it started again it performed its write operation just like t1 but it did not commit or abort so again we have an uncommitted write just like this and we will put this in undo okay here t4 also started performed its write operation committed and then there was a checkpoint okay now there is another important point to see here see there are two uh, times at which uh, operations can be performed so if an operation is performed before the checkpoint and that operation or that transaction committed just like t4 t4 started performed its write operation and committed and then the checkpoint happened this means that that this write operation is permanently stored in the disk okay since these changes are already made in the disk we need not do them again because checkpoint already wrote these changes in the disk so in such scenario in case of t4 it will not be put in the redo list okay but in case of t2 t2 also started performed its write and then commit operation but there was not a checkpoint since it completed since there is a commit operation that means t2 completed but it changes the right operation was not written to the disk so here we need to redo it operations performed and committed before the checkpoint need not be put in the redo list so it will not be put in the redo list okay but operations performed and committed after the checkpoint and before the crash will be put in the redo list so the correct answer would be that transaction t1 and t3 would be in undo list and t2 would be in redo list so undo t1 and t3 and redo t2 so this is the correct option which is option a so that's all for today's lecture i hope you understood this question and if you like this video please share it with your friends and let us know in the comment section below if you want more such tutorials and lectures in our preparation series please subscribe to the channel of easy engineering classes for more lectures on other computer science related subjects and the preparation series of gate computer science ugc net computer science or bank it officer exams Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Good luck.